And is this thing on? Hello. 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 What's up, Guggen? What's it going on, buddy? Not much. Not much. There's Dutch. What's up, Dutch? That flight's going to make me go crazy, man. Golly. So finally got better, huh? Yeah, I'm finally feeling better. You can still kind of hear my voice is a little off, but been sick for a week. Let me get the other green glow up here. <laughs> What's up, George? What's up, Christy? Did you um we're live? How'd you keep the baby away from it? Oh no, she was sick as a dog too. She she didn't sleep all week, so that was fun. Cajun's here early. Or was. Oh. Eddie. And back. Oh. Steven, what's up, buddy? Lance, are you drinking champagne or Modelo? It looked like Modelo. champagne. Modelo's. Same here. The guy by me, he, re he refused to sell six packs. I went in there yesterday or Monday. He had six packs. What's up, chat? Rob. Bad. You, can get a little bit. <laughs> you can get a little bit of money for a six pack. Yeah, they were um six dollars. Oh, that's cheap. Is that right? They're a little bit over a dollar here per beer. Yeah. Well, it was good. I was glad to see him because I don't like I it's just expensive beer. Maybe I'm wrong because it was like I think it was twenty five dollars for a twelve pack of cans. Wow! So that may have been more than six. I may just not be, uh, remember it correctly, but so I went ahead and got that. What's up, Christy? Randy, thanks for sharing a, a picture of your um, your uh, <laughs> uh, family, your ancestors. His ancestors. Ancestors. I, I first thing came to mind. The ancestors. <laughs> family jewels. What's up? That's it. Family jewels. That's it. Drink a beer. <laughs> yeah, drink Have another one, Lance. What's up, uh, brother Stephen? I hear see Boo's name. Is Boo in here? Yeah, it's way up here earlier. Devil dog. Boo was here at What's Boo? seven. What's up, Boo? Yep, there he is. What's up, Boo? I couldn't believe that picture. The moose. Well, it wasn't a picture. It was a. It was a video. Yeah, video. Yeah. Holly, what in the hell? I don't think I saw the video. Uh, is that right? Which video are you talking about? The I saw Randy post to. Oh rib. no, the, the one Christy posted. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought I posted that like months ago. She stole it from me. No, I don't know. <laughs> I got, it came. It came to my Facebook. Oh. Really? I saved yeah. it from 2017. Call me that. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who made the video. <laughs> uh, so the video. Party, huh? you, you guys yeah, have all seen it. my my nuts. She's saying, <laughs> "Play the video." Uh no. <laughs> I can reenact it if you want. <laughs> Be the quickest live ever. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to go see a doctor because uh, they. I've always been told when you got one loan hanging out much lower than the other one, that's a uh, first signs of hernia. Yeah, that's not what my doctor told me. What's that? Swing. That's not what my, what my doctor told me. He just said, "Swing low, sweet chariots." <laughs> What's up, Chris? Mo Larry and Curly, and he shimp. What's up, David? David Hernandez. David and Bat. <sighs> yeah, I'm like last two. I, I'm in little to no sleep in the last two nights, though. I know. I heard you talking to Des. I didn't want to get in there. I said, man, I just don't feel like it. I listened just to, to give Rob some support, but 
I just didn't feel like being in the chat. But I heard you say something about past two nights. Your mom's been up the whole time, so you've had to be up too. But yeah, well, that and she's real out, so I can't sleep. You know. No, is that right? Yeah, she could fucking me up. But anyway, she's asleep now, I think. So, who is that? Your cousin? Your nephew you're just talking to? Were you just talking to somebody? Oh, oh, right now, my, you... yeah, yeah, my nephew came in. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was mute. I said, oh, mom must be awake. No, nope, my nephew came in. Uh, yeah. We're having some plumbing uh, issues here in the house. And he was asking me about the, sho the shower. Oh, I thought... um. Possible moves themselves up and down and just. <laughs> oh. Doc <laughs> uh, Christie, thank you, honey. Um, I thought Tony came over or something and got that fixed the other day. He did. He came over on Sunday, but there's something else wrong that, like, deep and down in the, uh, in the drain. So it, it might, I think it might be crushed. Oh, is that right? The street pipe? Yeah. Mm. So I got to get a, a plumber. Have him take a look. Put a mm. scope down it. Put a camera down there and, and look at it. Well, the, well, how they handle that in Texas, will they come in and replace a portion of it? Yeah, I mean, though, because uh, my house is a cement uh, foundation. So they have to like cut in with a with a saw. And but the sounds... but the state will do that for you in Texas, or you have to pay like from you do. the front wall in, and they pay from, from from the street to the property line. It it belongs to uh, the, the uh, city and the county, right? But from inside the the fence line to the rest of the house, it's our problem. Well, that sounds pricey. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right east one. What's that? <laughs> I said right east one. Every time I say pricey, he makes fun of me about something. Oh, oh. you're not supposed to flush the cotex. Yeah, that's not going to be cheap. Especially if they got to cut up the floor and, you know, inside the house. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Hopefully, it's you got any trees out front. We have some on the edge of the property, but we have a big pecan tree in the backyard, right in the center of the backyard. Well, but the I'm assuming the line's going out to the front of the street. There's not a line going out and joining in the back someplace. Right. No, it's going from the house up to the front of the house. Well, if any luck, then you know maybe a tree just got into the root, into the pipe, or something, you know, out in the yard, and not crushed in the house. Well, folks, welcome to Plumbing One Hundred and One. <laughs> First topic of the night. So uh, right, we'll, we'll get into uh, we'll get into dementia talk later. Yeah, maybe you can put some stainless steel pipe in there and have it welded up so it'll never happen again. <laughs> I have to get Randy to, to inspect it. Yeah, get Randy. <laughs> Just get one of those porta potties from the uh, rodeo in your front room. <laughs> yeah, but we also need a shower. So, yeah. is it raining, man? Another tree fall? Another oh, tree fall, yeah. You know? I hate the forest. What look? Oh, I, like? I don't have that the picture anymore. Damn it! Oh, I do. I think. Oh uh, yeah, the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Teen guy or any damn trees? Fuck trees. <laughs> They're nature's air filter. Yeah, man. So I was telling Lance I lost all the footage of my last video, so 
I don't even know if I'm going to reshoot it. Wow. The I was going to uh, shoot the uh, the Smash Burgers today, but stuff didn't work out. So I was like, eh. yeah, that's how All it right. is sometimes, man. I personally, but they were, they were good. But they were good. So we ate. did that shit just to force me into making a damn video, and then he didn't come through. <laughs> Hey, I got proof I shot it. I just don't have all the pieces to it. Some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I ain't oh. typing a lot right now. This guy is exhausted. God dang. <laughs> What's up, Zach? <laughs> What's up, Zach? <laughs> Bean medic. <laughs> As soon as he came into the chat, too, like boom. Mm. Man, Lance is tired. Randy's tired. Everybody's tired. Yeah. It's got to be your show, man. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Get back oh. into hanging that drywall tomorrow. It's not hanging. It's already hung. Everything's hung now. I just got to start. Taped and block coat, and then the Amish guy. I missed a call from him, so I guess that means he's got a kitchen ready to hang. Mm. Man, I won't touch drywall, I've done that a couple times. It's not my thing. Just do that. See, touching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I well, no, I mean, hang as far as cabinets for the Amish guy. Hang oh, okay. kitchen cabinets. Well, you, you said something about drywall too, didn't you? Yeah, that was today and tomorrow at least. Probably oh. today, tomorrow, and the next day. I don't, I don't mess with that. It's too much. It's too all messy. hung. The worst part's behind me. I, I won't sand it. Someone else has to come in there and sand that shit. You need to increase your prices then. Everybody's calling you for, for work. Yeah, uh, Randy started, I think, yesterday or Monday. Yeah, I think it was oh, Monday. Yes, it is Monday. 45 <laughs> days. It's going to be a long 45 days, man. Yeah. Oh, two down, 43 to go. Must not be all that bad of him taking pictures of himself and spreading around <laughs> on Facebook. That and uh, saw him on uh, uh, Smoking Joe's live on uh, TikTok. He was in the chat there. And then... Uh, he posted the thing right, right around the same time I posted on Al's uh, link to the live, which I thought was for tonight, but it's for next week. Mm. Where's uh, Where's Russ at tonight? Mm. Probably home. Anybody, anybody heard from him? No. Probably watching. Fucking fly, man. God. I got some questions for him. Oh, let me send him the link. <laughs> Do you have a pet mouse? You know... You know, like Mr. Jingles. No, I can't say I do. I, do, I did see a, a funny video today. Uh, this lady was, she had a cat up on her countertop, and she was like, she was getting pissed off because the cat kept playing in the toaster. So, she, I mean, she had to unplug it. The cat wouldn't okay. stop playing in the toaster. So, what the hell are you doing? Why? And she was getting mad at it, and all of a sudden, this damn cat pulled out of Reach's hand in there, and I guess the, the mouse, mouse took a jump. Yeah, took a jump out of the toaster. They started yeah. screaming and running out of yeah, the Yeah, they all running. Yeah. Saw that last week. That was, that was hilarious. I had to watch it twice because I, I didn't know what the what happened. And for the second time around, I saw that mouse come out. Yeah. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. You know, a lightning alert, huh? Yeah, you guys had some bad weather in Texas today. Yeah. Parts of Texas. Supposed to be uh, bad later for us. Yeah, spool, spools. Man, I used to have some crazy spools, uh, Eddie. I used to have an antique store. When I, um, when I worked, when I drove for UPS, I had a business in what they call an area called Solomon's Isle, Maryland. Actually, CJ and um, Alicia, Mom and Papa Joe, um, they actually were down there at some point. And, um, I used to have all kinds of antique stuff, uh, furniture. I used to restore antiques and 
and stuff and sell them and that was some of the leftovers some spools but i had some crazy spools man used to they were great sellers excellent sellers we got out of that knee surgery you're supposed to have back surgery who i was I said, well, time to get out of that furniture stuff, hauling hump of furniture. I said you were number one in sign language, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have my um, YouTube up. So I, don't, I don't even see the comments. Yeah, I see it. I mean, I, can, I see it here on, on Streamyard, but yeah, same here. Chris, Christy must be blocking people. <laughs> so, so uh, Simon, you missed your uh, Smashburger video. Had some issues. Yep. What's your next? What's your next video? Any ideas or keeping it secret? Um, if I. Get to go to the store Friday. I'll do um, a uh, bacon wrapped hot dog mm. with uh, sausage. I mean, with um, grilled onions and peppers, and see what mm. else I can throw on there. That sounds pretty good. I'm and trying to think of a a different vessel for doing like a Texas Twinkie instead of you know incorporating jalapenos, but not using a jalapeno as the vessel. I don't know, but it seems like everybody's doing something now. Yep. Manicotti and I don't know. I was thinking about hauling out a sausage like a little bit and stuffing it with cream cheese and other things, but I don't know. I did a hot dog collab with George and then I hauled out one and, and injected cheese into it. That was pretty good, but that was a pain in the ass. It wasn't worth the effort. Yeah. But yeah, that would be sort of kind of cool to do something like that, like a jalapeno cheese or something, like a little smoky, maybe even mm -hmm. something that's shorter, something that's shorter, and then put the um, you wrap it in bacon. That would be good. What's up, Anthony? What's up, Anthony? Rebecca. Rebecca, hello. <clears throat> How do you say her name? Rebecca. <laughs> it's not just Rebecca. Isn't that what I said, Rebecca? It's in Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, I do yeah. that. It's like Anthony. I call him Anthony. What's up, man? Who's this up, guy? Russ? Guggen had a question so, for you, Russ. <laughs> lay it on me. Oh, you know, we'll get acquainted first. Jeez, we're firing it <laughs> off, man. So you asked the, uh, you said something about the fly fishing class. And I, I never, it's twice now, I haven't really gone into it. So how did it go? Or did you use like their, like their, uh, their equipment type thing? Or did your brother-in-law, father-in-law have stuff for you to use? Or how did um, You could use their equipment, which I did. I didn't want to buy anything before trying. Right. Um, my brother-in-law and father-in-law, they, they brought their own gear. But we didn't use like hooks or anything. It was really just learning how to practice casting and uh, hit myself in the back of the head about a thousand times. So I'm glad I didn't have any hooks, but I, I got line. You kept whipping yourself with the line. Really? Yeah. They tied like a little piece of like yarn or something at the end. Right. And, um, uh, you know, it just took a while to get the hang of it, but yeah, I kept whipping myself in the head with it. <laughs> really? I wouldn't think that would be an issue. The way that line goes back as far as it does, but I found a way. I guess so. Huh. But um I got I'm the hang get of it. mine out now it's getting warmer. I'm gonna get mine out and I'll probably film me getting hung up in a tree or something with it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean yeah, the the instructor was talking about some cool stuff. Like I didn't realize people saltwater fish with it, even fish for like tarpon, some yeah. huge fish. You know, these books that I have over there, see some of them saltwater flies those people are tying. Man. I had no idea. 
Yeah. And um, catch shrimp, seafood, all kinds of shrimp, uh, Stephen. You should see the shrimp they're catching, Stephen. Big <laughs> ass shrimp, Stephen. But it was cool. I might get a cheap setup just to play around. I, with you. I, I bought a cheap little set to start. It was $30. Rod, reel, and everything. It's a um, Martin. Yeah. Pardon the dust. But it's just a, a little cheap set. Mm -hmm. It's got your floating line, cast line. It's got everything already rigged up for you. Thirty dollars just for a starter thing. It's not. It's not the top of the line. If Alexander was, if uh, uh, Alexander was in here, he'd tell you not to waste your money on it, and he's right. If you have money to buy something big, but I'm like, you know, I don't even know if I'm if I'm going to enjoy this. If I'm going to have pick up the knack for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't want to go out and spend, you know, five hundred, six hundred dollars on something that may find its way in a corner of a closet in three weeks' time, you know, because fly I just fishing. Can't. fly fishing is fun, man. I used to yeah. love fly fishing. I was so, like, man, you start freaking out. Why is his mouth moving? So you haven't messed with it before, Lance? You haven't done any fly fishing or I've done nothing. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Nothing. I still remember how if it's in front, when you pull that line out, you you just keep doing it like that until you yeah. get all the line you want. It'll it'll go right where you want it to. It don't take long to get the hang of it. We did it as kids. You yeah. Know, it's been... No, I've watched all kinds of uh, like videos and stuff on it for a couple months. I've I've made myself a fly tying station and everything over there. So I'm gonna yeah. get that deep into it. But um, when was that last summer when you did that? Um, probably fall. I was Probably. going to ask him. He showed that same fly rod I know a year ago. He ain't even took it out of the wrapper yet. No, it ain't been that long. <laughs> it's been a while. I know you, you made that rig. Yeah, but I thought that's maybe six months. I made that with the Amish guy. I thought, yeah, I, I, I was just messing with you. It's been more like well, a year and a half. No, man, it's that not four shirt months. reminds me of IBEW, <laughs> International Brotherhoods of Electrical Workers. That is the, uh, what is that called? Captain Planet? It's a hero shirt, but yeah, I, I forget what it said when I bought it. Lance, I want you to get that fishing pole out of the package right now. Set it up and then get in your yard tomorrow. Yeah. Tell me tell me how many I, I times you hit uh, yourself. Yeah, no, I'm going to. I, now the weather's getting a little warmer. Just for Lance. Uh, huh? Just for Lance. I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> um but i've got i've got some work scheduled for the next few days mm, you look sick We're gonna take november the 28th is what the photo is dates november 28th yep. it's been that wow i thought it was longer damn near five months ago yeah i was close <laughs> hell i just got back not long ago from a three hours up and three hours back trip with my buddy he uh, wanted uh yeah he found it on marketplace it's an old that the guy actually had like three or four of these 1976 ford f1 150s <laughs> or, or yeah f150 and he's wanting to make a bar and he's using the, the front end with the grill the headlights and one of the fenders up this side and right behind the fender, it says F-150, little logo. We went up there and unbolted a fender, took a hood off. He's got to ha he had to have the hood. All that just for a project coming up whenever, you know. <laughs> That'd be nice to have that kind of money. <laughs> yeah. he, he only paid $120 for the parts, and we're going to make the rest of it. Right, but it's like, wait, wait, you said three hours, go and three hours back, and then whatever time you spent there. Oh, well, he, he, uh, I used to work with him out there at the shipyard. He's a, he was a pipe fitter. He's been in PC for many years now, but he left early. He left there at one o'clock, swung by here and got me. And we went straight up there, you know, to our, past Laurel. We was out in the boonies, man. He, <laughs> he did stop by his house. He comes out with two Glocks here, hold on to that. And I got my other one. So what's this far? He goes, well, we don't know where we're going or who these people are. So yeah, you're right. But. 
there was no issues, but just in case, you know. <laughs> Walk out of the truck with a uh, gun in your hand. <laughs> well, you you hear horror stories about buying stuff off of Craigslist and Marketplace, and you get there, people want to rob you, you know. So, but no problems, no issues. He was legit. He had all kind of clunkers out there on that property. 78.50. I thought you were saying you get in the truck. We just got the parts off old beat up junk cars, man, that were in still pretty good shape just to make this uh, furniture out of. <clears throat> yep. I B E W, Anthony. Anthony. You'd have to know my buddy, man. He's always got an eye out for stuff like that. And he spends so much money. He's got so much crap, but he hadn't done nothing with any of it yet. He just keeps buying it because I'm going to. I'm going to, but he's yet to do anything yet. I think people do um, folding tables with the uh, tailgates of the pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. So they'll have like a bar. But it'll, it'll fold up up against the yeah. wall. Yeah, they make some cool furniture out of that stuff. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I told him, I said, I'll help you with it. Hell, I'll turn it into videos. But those would be long videos to ever get. Matter of fact, I was pissed off. was halfway back. I said, God bless it. He goes, what? I said, I was going to film a little bit with my phone, like unbolting the fender and you cutting that, just showing where we got. And I forgot all about it. Yeah. yeah. So, no big deal. But it'll eventually be a video. But it's allowed to be six months from now. We got to build the thing. Then his good buddy that does all the body work and paint, he'll have to paint it. Then he'll have to get somebody to upholster the, the the seat. Well, no, this don't get a seat. He'll have to get the wood and everything, like whoever's going to do that. So it won't be just me, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to help him fabricate it and do any welding that's involved with it. And then, right. uh, but I would like to see or show the final product at the end of the video. This is what it looks like. Went from this to this, you know. Right. So yeah, th those are going to take a while to get out. Those kind. What's up, Hojo? Did digits? Did you have you fabricated anything yet? You started on that wall of sprockets. You talking to me? No, I'm. Uh, I got to go Thursday, and I decided to go ahead and lease an argon bottle because I want the biggest one they got instead of buying a bottle and have to take it every time I look up to get it refilled. And they only lease them. I've got to go fill out an application Thursday. He said it takes three days to be approved. And then uh, I'll go get the bottle. But what I did do is Derek come up here Sunday. And we got all the wire run across the attic. I dropped it down inside the garage. I've already got the receptacle hooked up. The other end, I've got to go Thursday when terrain is off and get the conduit coming out of the, the sure. box and, and do that. Then... The power is there. All I lack is a argon bottle. Almost ready. Almost, man. That close. So. Anyway, what was the question you were going to ask? Now it's the last name <laughs> for dinner. Echeverria. <clears throat> Who is it? Echeverria. 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 I mean, we can talk about the question if you want to, Russ. Oh, I was just curious what it is. Um, I was going to ask you about your latest uh, brisket video. Ask about what now? My brisket about your, video? Yeah, your latest brisket video. Mm -hmm. um, it? So it seemed a little crumbly. It was too tender. Too, yeah, a little, little overcooked. So I wasn't sure if that's what you intended and you pivot. Pivoted not to like not really, brisket, not or? really, but I didn't. No, no, no. I planned on doing chopped brisket from the get go. Y'all even you. heard me say that where I went to Dickie's not long ago and had that chopped brisket sandwich. That was that was definitely my intentions. And this stuff, I couldn't even show a slice, man. It was just falling apart. And it would have been perfect if I would have held it like you normally hold a brisket. Mm -hmm. But going 14 hours in that thing, yeah, it just it took it too far. I mean, uh, you know, the chop brisket look good. When I hold the brisket, especially that long, I don't take the brisket all the way up to, you know, yeah, 
two right. hundred, two hundred five. I do like one ninety, one ninety five, and, and that's that where again. that's where a little playing around with it is going to come into play because I've never held briskets more than mm-hmm. two or three hours top. I showed that one in comparison. Yeah, that, that was I did beautiful. on the same smoker, and it turned out perfect. But we only held it in like an hour and a half. Just and, and yeah. didn't hold it enough. We just wrapped it up and let it rest for an hour and a half. Man, if he's asking, man, if he's asking about the uh, the cook I did in my last video, uh, that was a lot of food. But there was uh, your aunt Letty, Andy, oh, uh, shit. Esperanza, the, the military dude in California. Yeah. Uh, who else was here? Tony was here. Mom, myself. Man, don't remember who else was there. Uh, that was a lot of food. That was that looked that looked crazy though. I was like, <laughs> man, what else can you fit in there? Yeah, that, it was it was pretty full. <laughs> I think didn't the Devil Dog stop by and get a couple plates? <laughs> <laughs> he would have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we we had we actually uh, oh it was uh, Esmeralda in um, in uh, her wife. Uh, Michelle and uh, some of the kids, but it, it was it was a good uh, good crowd. Um, I was gonna, I had more people invited, but uh, uh, not everybody could make it. But uh, everybody ate all they all they all they, could, all they wanted, and uh, there was a little bit left over at the end. But that morning we uh, we I had it with uh, with eggs, meat tacos with it. But June will be back home for a few weeks before I go to move move to Georgia now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're coming to coming to my native land. Land of the beans. That's where we <laughs> use you, chili with beans. I tell you so, one thing about that brisket though that really has surprised me. You know I didn't trim it. You've seen that if you watched the video. Of course. And yeah. I ate two sandwiches earlier, but that flat and that's what I'm trying to finish all the, the flat and I'm going to chop the uh, point up tomorrow and, and separate it, vacuum freeze it. But that mm. was juicy for a freaking flat, man. I'm like, holy crap. Mm. So it definitely helped leaving that fat on. But all the fat was on the bottom. I went fat down, but it's still, man, it was holding a lot of juice. How, how much uh, how much uh, fat did, it, did you end up collecting on the, on the bottom of the thing? That jar I showed. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. That was the yeah. last time I dumped it. It filled up a quart jar. Yeah, I ran right. quite a bit of it. If you translate that, I mean, it's solidified now. It's a big hunk of fat. So it, it got rid of a lot, but there was still a bunch inside of it. You know, that's right. I forgot. I, I forgot you did that. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach saying he did a six month study, cook it to 180 and wrap it at 155. But how long are you holding it? No, he, he, uh, Cooks it unwrapped to 180, yeah. then then wraps it and holds it at 155, probably 14, 15 hours or longer. Um, you know, a lot of the restaurants that's that's what they do. I did six months to stay on that cook unwrapped until 180. That would be about right too. If not, what did you hold it? 155. Okay, I went 150. I was gonna go 145, and in hindsight, I wish I'd stuck to my guns on that. I went to 150. And that daggum oven holds temps. I mean, I, I've already proven it on that little review video I did. It holds within two, uh, three degrees back and forth. It never goes out of that three degree range. So I was on that temperature through the whole thing, but I could smell it through the night, man. It was driving my wife's cats crazy. They kept going mm-hmm. up the room and, you know, <laughs> that's, but, a, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a rough thing about brisket, man. If you're holding brisket in the house, yeah. 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 yeah, you're smelling it the whole day until it's out of there, and then you so you still smell it for like two days. It, it was really good though, as far as brisket sandwich, and that's what I like anyway. I've done a lot of briskets, and I do it mainly do it for video. I'll show the slice and all that crap. You know what I end up doing with it? I usually end up chopping it, making grilled cheese or sandwiches out of. I'm not one just to eat a slice of brisket. I've got to have something with it, you know. Yeah. That's but, one of the videos I want to do, man. I want to do a sliced brisket grilled cheese press so bad, but I just ain't paying that price for that damn brisket. 
shit, I didn't pay or she paid forty four dollars. She's the one I've been talking about doing one, but she goes, I'm gonna go buy a brisket like that. And I said, Okay. She went to one store, she goes, if that brisket didn't look good for what they was wanting. Let me go over here and check it when Dixie. She went there. She goes, I found one. It was seventy what was it, seventy three dollars normal. She got it for forty four. I'm like, it's choice. It ain't but man, it was ain't That's nothing crazy. wrong with it, you know? Yeah. I can, I can, I've, I'll probably cook more choice briskets than I ever had prime. I'm not paying that kind of price for what brisket is. I mean, it's really a crappy cut anyway, if you think about it, you know, in reality compared to ribeyes and stuff like that. But, uh, mm. it's definitely a barbecue cut, you know? Well, I mean, what would you have to pay Lance to, to buy one? Uh, like what nine dollars a pound, eight dollars on sale. All right, well, so I'm tell you, how about online? Well, I mean, you sent that link to me before. I still have the link on my phone. Yeah, I'm going to tell you one last time. Wild pork, you can get a choice brisket, three ninety eight a pound, like what Russ paid. You can get mm -hmm. prime for four ninety eight a pound. So, holy pay crap, forty two bucks for a choice, or you can pay sixty bucks for a prime, and it's shipped for free for your first order. So, and then, so I guess to me, because it's a brisket, I'm thinking, you know, this is something I want to touch, feel, hold in my hand, look at, and inspect before I say, that's the one I want. Well, then so you're going to have to pay your, you pay put your it bucks in their hands and they're, and they're sending you something good every time that you've done Wild it. Wild Fork's pretty damn good. I've ordered from them. I haven't been disappointed. It's one of those meat purveyors you can pretty much trust, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I ordered. I, what's that company? Uh, Snake River Farms. I ordered one of their really good briskets one year, and let me tell you, that was a really good brisket too. I paid like this has been a couple of years ago, but I paid probably one hundred forty dollars for that brisket then, even you know. Right. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get brisket from Wild Pork, but I've bought stuff from there, and I've been happy mm -hmm. with it. I bought Tri Tip. It's been well marbled, so. Yeah, yeah, you don't get to it. look at it, but well, yeah. the reason why I even say that because I have gotten, you know, meat. Yeah, you've from had Road. a supplier, and you know I can't say I was happy with everything that I received. You know, so I mean that's mm -hmm. why I'm what I guess I'm getting at. I mean, I the 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 third time I've gotten something from there, I can't. I had no right to complain because it was free. Yeah. But the other two times, I mean, it was like, man, why did I waste my money on this? Well, you know, well, I worked with Porter Road, but way before I worked with them, I actually ordered some ribs from them one time because me and Brian Ducharme was going to have a little rib cook-off. My pit barrel cooker that I used to own, I was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his Southern Pride 500 rotisserie double-door smoker he's got. It, right. to do a video and we did we did the video them ribs came in man they were skinny is the <laughs> most pitiful looking ribs and i swore they they contacted me not long after that. i said i will not work with you well could you please tell us why i said those ribs were pathetic that i bought i purchased them you know i've got a rack in there right now same exact thing i wouldn't yeah. even waste the waste the coal to cook them so i'm sorry I, I wouldn't know. mention no names. But. Yeah, but at any rate, uh, at Except some now. point, it was it was a year or so later, they reached out to me again. I said, well, can I pick out what you're going to send me? And I started picking out things I wanted. I said, what the hell is free me? I'll throw it in my freezer, you know. And I worked right. with them. They probably sent me two two or three more packages after that. Some of it was all right, like them little uh, pork briskets, the ones that I got. Some people complained about them. But the ones they sent me were freaking delicious, man. The ones I've seen um, made on, on on a video, they start out like this, and then they turn out to be like yeah, they drink up, yeah. Bad. They, but they, they, they sent me ribs again. It was the second time I got ribs from them, and I did a video on the offset here a couple of years ago. One rack was thick, and the other one was thin. <laughs> they didn't finish off at the same time. I'm like God, here we go again. I finally just quit fooling with them, you know. Yeah. Now, I've gotten three of those pork briskets. I was happy with two of the three. Uh, 
one of yeah. the one of them I got was just it was there was hardly anything on there. It was even edible, really. But yeah, but yeah, they shrink up terribly bad. No, oh, yeah, well, they're kind of small to start with. What do they weigh? A pound and a half at the most. Yeah. But uh, I, the biggest thing when I did that video, I bit into it. I'm like, holy crap, that's good. And I got excited. You can see it on video. I said, Derek, come here. You got to try this. Yeah. And he tried it. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> you know, that was some really good tasting pork, but maybe it was just, I don't know. You can pick what you want. I, I just, I, I don't think there's the money I've ever spent at that store. A store is too close to me. Okay. That would be sweet. I, I was getting yeah. ready to say that wild fork. I'm not, I don't know of any creators that ever worked with them on YouTube, you know, but I do know a lot of people has bought from them, including myself. And the fact that they got stores everywhere, they've got to uphold their reputation. So you could probably, I mean, you'd be taking a gamble, but at that price, I'd be willing to do it, you know? And you can always talk about, bad about them or they send you shitty ribs. Yeah. I mean, I'll, you better I'll, I'll do it. I can put it in the notes, say, oh, by the way, I'm a YouTube creator, and if this brisket sucks, I'm doing a video. <laughs> <laughs> you better see me. I get one. decent pork, uh, pork ribs, just whether or not you, know, you can get them at a good price, but I got pretty good luck around here at pork ribs. I've gotten some nice pork ribs. But um, beef ribs, <laughs> not so much. But um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, it sounds great. I like to have the, the, that option there, but man, I'm just afraid to put out that money and have it shipped to me. And then it's like, what the hell up, is Tom? this thing? <laughs> well, they do have reviews like Amazon. I was just reading some of them for that brisket and they're a little yeah. mixed. So go ahead and take a look at those reviews before you buy one. Yeah, well, it ain't like, you know, for them prices, even if it's just yeah, okay it's, brisket, it'd be worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's still better than what you're paying, Lance. Oh, yeah, definitely. Although, uh, Niners said that and he's west of me. He said that he got a brisket from Walmart for four dollars a pound. Yeah, like those, are, those are so they're a uh, select grade, which are trickier yeah. to, you know, faster. Yeah, you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to go below choice. That's I wouldn't anyway, yeah. You can order a uh, choice, but uh, in the store, they're all select. Yeah. Do you Whoops. have a Sam's Club near you, Lance, that you're a member to, or uh, Costco? They got decent briskets. Um, I mean, it's not that bad. It's about 45 minutes away, but we're not members of them. Oh, that, your because, of, because they're that far away, but yeah. Um, 45 50 minutes but th we have a bj's wholesale club which is a, a like thing yeah but their mm -hmm. briskets are still pricey yeah yeah i don't know maybe you need to find a local butcher local amish person well you know i, I even thought about that i just hadn't i mean because i'm not a huge brisket eater i'll eat it but it's not like something that i've got to have on my diet every month you oh know, no I'm just that not that I'm not that that type of a brisket eater. I'm just not that fond of it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't eat it Me that either. often, man. I mean, I love it, too. but we might get a brisket every year and a half or do one. I was trying to remember the last one I did, and I think it's right after I got that old hickory, and uh, that's been a year and a half. So, but I just got. We went to Dickie's. I told you all that, and I had a brisket sandwich just like the one I made with their sauce. I'm like, God, that's good, man. I said, I miss brisket. That's why I was wanting to do the video. So yeah, I knew going into it, I exactly what I was going to do with it. You know, that's what I end up doing with most brisket. Anyway, chop the hell out of it. I can just have them scan that on, on checkout. You can do self checkout and you just do that. Mr. Velez, you sure do look awfully pale today. <laughs> It's his uh, membership card. Select is just uh, dog food. <laughs> yeah, we did we did a, a free tour in there one day, but um, it just, to me, it didn't seem like it was worth that drive, you know, when they got the BJ's. But BJ's has got decent 
you, I can get rotisserie chicken from them for three dollars. I mean, nice birds. Yeah, those are from those are from they're China. All bucks. They're all three bucks. China. Yeah, they import those from China. <laughs> yeah, they come in a can. Yeah, and you might want to look into some restaurant Real. supply stores. Definitely. Um, because they have a lot of briskets and meats and stuff you can't get at the normal stores. And I don't think you're listening. He's playing with his dog. No, I'm listening to you. Go to the uh, food supply stores. There, yeah, there's a restaurant, restaurant. depot. Yeah, that um out on the Beltway in PG County. That's over an hour away, but I have been yeah, there okay. once. But yeah, I I only cook like one or two briskets a year. It's just uh, <laughs> it's a long cook, man. So unless I'm cooking for a lot of people, I don't do it. Put in your pellet smoker. <laughs> in my in my pit boss. Your pit bowl. Yeah. What's up, Bill? So I, I I was I was uh snooping on um Rob's live today and you know the conversation went into gas cookers. I won't mention the names of the people that said they want to buy gas cookers, but uh, and a pellet, <laughs> pellet smoker. But what is the difference, Guggen? So are you have you done both gas and infrared or just the infrared? uh for what type like what type of cooks i mean just cooking with in general it's that's your so my current gas grill has an infrared burner for the rotisserie um my old gas grill had an infrared burner as a sear burner so i i'm not sure which brand you're talking about but i think they all kind of throw around so it's infrared not a talk. primary infrared thing it's not a primary uh, infrared cooker, I guess, is what I'm saying. I'd have to look at the brand. Some of them advertise it as infrared, but I don't think it really is. Um, but it, I think it's all about the type of burner it is, like infrared burner. Yeah, and, the ones I've had, they call infrared. It's got like a ceramic kind yeah, of like yeah. heaters yeah. have, you know, where it goes to glowing. Yeah, yeah they're usually just, a little more expensive, higher-end grills that have those. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a Napoleon that had a rotisserie and it had mm -hmm. the gas burners, but back here it had the, the yeah. infrared, then the rotisserie was in front of it, you know, that worked right. pretty good. And, and I use that a lot for rotisserie. Yeah. One of the, um, uh, piggy belly, yo. one of the uh, things, um, one of the guys, the customers I do work for, he's owned, uh, it still does a pool and patio. I'm sorry, not pool a uh, wood stove and patio uh, store, like retail store. Mm -hmm. And his back deck has got some of the most elite smoker barbecue pits out there that you would, you know, you find just about anywhere for, but he's got, you know, crazy money in them, mm -hmm. but he's got an infrared barbecue grill and, uh, and it's, it's an infrared grill period. It's yeah. not like a, like an attachment to it or anything. Right. So, Randy. Much so, Randy, yeah, it's just a out. type of type of burner like Russ was talking about, ceramic, and can get really, really hot for searing steaks. It's really good for that. Yeah. Um, but it also, you know, you can turn the temperature down a little bit and not burn things too. So, I'm curious to see this monument. I started putting it together this morning, and then my buddy called me from work. He said, hey, you still run up uh, with me up to Laurel, Mississippi? And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I never heard back. I didn't know if you still was. I'm like, yeah, I'll go with you. So I just kind of pushed everything out the side. I got to start back in the morning. But at any rate, it's got a sear zone, but it's also got a re rotisserie. So I don't know if it's got a infrared thing for the rotisserie or if it's going to be depending on the radiant heat coming off the burners. Don't know yet. I had not got that far into it. But I am curious, you know. But yeah, I've, I've got some. Now. I've got some photos of mine on my Instagram. Maybe I can pull it up and share it. Yeah, but I was just curious. I mean, is there, is there would there be a difference? I mean, is it like once the once the um you know the the radiant heat, whatever the hell you want to call it, is ignited and heated? Is it like a fuel or a gas assist? So, I mean, would you get less of a gas flavor cooking with one of them? 
or one that's solely, you know, a propane burner? Uh, I mean, pit? I, I don't know. I can't really answer that. I don't really taste propane when I cook on my grill, but I guess some people are more I, sensitive. I never have to it. either. You know, if you're tasting propane on anything, then it's either carburizing or oxidizing. It's not burning like it should. It's not burning a blue flame. You yeah. should be odorless and flavorless with propane if it's burning right. Yeah, it could just been a little char. It's just a little charbroil that we have. It's probably a stainless steel cap, but the thing's probably only t 24 inches or less from side to side. Um, and I just, and I get it's I, I, maybe it's a cilantro type thing, you know. I tasted something with it to, to the point where I won't use it anymore. But maybe yeah. it's maybe it's a defect there. Maybe it's a regulator issue. You know, I don't know. No, I'm not sure, man. I ain't running enough gas grills to be that knowledgeable of them, to be honest with you. I've owned uh, yeah. three of them in my lifetime. But uh, I might hang on to this and because Torino lights get out and grill them in, she would go out there and do all kind of stuff with it, you know. But she don't blink an eye at firing up that Weber either. She'll go out there. Where's the fire starters? Right here. Here you go. She'll go out there and get everything going and cook everything. Come eat. It's ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay but i'm gonna do three things after i find out how to rotisserie i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna finish those sausages i started with and then uh that i made and then i'm gonna do a rotisserie chicken then i'm gonna do a couple steaks for the video yeah, and so that's it so that's my infrared burner in the back you can see glowing like purple yeah, that's the way that yeah. Napoleon was set up, just yeah. like that. And then I have, I had a sear burner in my old grill. I don't know if I have a video Off of to that. the right or left, yeah. Yeah, just one of the burners. Is that right. one of the burn-ass pizzas from that pizza thing? <laughs> no, I think, I, I think that was a video I shared from your Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. I'll stop sharing now. But anyway, it's really just more like high heat cooking is what those infrared burners are for. And then you have normal gas burners for you know regular stuff yeah so, brisket, i don't know brisket medic what annoyed me about them was the shipping i got four boxes two big boxes and then one small box and then another small square box and every item except for the two big boxes come in a separate shipment i'm like so stupid why not just load it all up on it must have come from three different parts of the country is the only thing yeah, i can figure yeah like good gracious but man it's i got to look at all these parts i'm just pulling stuff out of the like holy crap there's a hundred pieces to this grill i hate <laughs> putting grills together barrier cookers what's up buddy man you should have had them pay somebody to come out and do it for you i swear i mean that's what i like about long star grills and old hickories and certain companies when you get your grill all you got to do is cook on it <laughs> you know it's ready to go get out of the you box huh yeah, you ain't got to put crap together. It's all welded, welded Ooh. down. Ooh. Oh, well. Russ, I was going through your pizza um, videos. You only have like four, five of them, I think. Well, I got some from many, many, many years ago. Well, I, I did some on my Kamado, but the more recent ones on that pizza oven. Yeah, yeah I've Montana. Got, yeah, I've got to, I got to get back on that thing. Yeah, because I, I recently got a wood burning pizza oven. I haven't cooked on it yet, but I was looking towards your channel. You didn't have a video of you cooking a normal Neapolitan style. I saw you had like a, a pan pizza and some bread you did and some other well, things. Well, but... if you look at that Philly cheese steak I did, it was the first one I did on that Fontana and I also did a little pepperoni. I did mm -hmm. a I, I did a bigger Philly cheese steak and a smaller one and a pepperoni. That is a Neapolitan dough, and it's a really okay. good one. That was a 48-hour right. cold ferment on that dough. God, it was so flavorful. All right, but I'll watch uh, that one and use that dough recipe. Yeah, I didn't good. do a Neapolitan as far as the the uh, basil and the type of cheese. You know, I'd rather make what I like, so I did sure. a Philly cheese steak. That's, that's a good pizza, too, if you ever get a chance to make it. Use that that's base like I use, that crema and everything. It's mm -hmm. pretty good. I think cool. you'd like it. Yeah, I don't have much on it. I need to get back on it. This first yeah, old history video. Up some videos of that thing. Yeah, I'm going to. 
what do you think about content with a pizza oven? I, I feel like some other channels, like, I can't remember his name, but he does a lot of the, uh, the Kamado stuff. I think it's like cooking with dad or I, I don't know what it is, but anyway, yeah. he, he, he just said that he's selling his pizza oven because it just didn't do well on YouTube. I tell you what, that's one reason I haven't done the more because right out of the gate, I think the only one that has done the best is that Chicago thin crust. I did. It finally broke over 10,000 views, but all the other ones, man, it was just like they, it stunk when they when i released them and man it's like my god it's great looking thumbnails and everything i'm like nobody was interested i think it's just uh it's just too high of a price point it is it is you know, it it's really not is. your every it's not a weber kettle it's not a pellet smoker it's it, it's, it's a not your end. average man's and yeah, average kind of man's a, budget unless he goes and finances it you know sure so that and it's not something you're gonna fire up Unless you're really into pizza making, it's not something you're going to fire up all the time. You know, mm -hmm. I've used mine once since I've had it back over here and I did chicken wings in a cast iron skillet. Turned out great. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good for things like that, too. But all I did with that was made a little short. I just filmed it with my phone real quick. Had no intentions of making a video. We were just eating, you know. But. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll make content with it. Really just bought it for myself and my wife really likes pizza, so yeah yeah i noticed that right out of the gate it just as far as getting views it didn't you know so do they... you f go ahead i'm sorry no I, I was done so do you find it necessary to really cook it that hot and fast i mean I, I, a lot of these videos i'm seeing they're cooking what what 800 degrees 600 degrees or something like that the most i've cooked and that's the neapolitan style you you got to cook a pizza depending on what kind of dough you got when I did that, I was running seven to 750 degrees and it turned out perfect. The bottom looked great. Everything about it was spot on. It's designed to run at that temperature. That Chicago thin crust is a lot drier dough. It doesn't have the hydration of a Neapolitan. I run it at 500 degrees, way lower. And most pizzas, like if you do like a Pizza Hut clone pizza dough or anything like that, you're going to want to run that between five and 550 you'll burn it up on 750 it all it's all about the dough you know as the hot yep. hot you're gonna run it yeah the dough the hydration level yeah um, yeah exactly. it's a whole nother it's a whole nother thing it's like barbecue but it's you know it's a whole science yeah. to it if yeah. I, i'm trying to remember that hydration i use on it neapolitan i did was either 62 or 65 percent that's pretty good that's a lot of water you know and they base it on 100% flour, regardless how much it weighs. If you got a pound of flour, we're going to call it 100% in weight, you know, and you take whatever the weight of that is and you use 65% of that weight in water to give you 65% hydration or 60% of that weight. If I want to do 50%, which is like what I did on that thin, that thin pizza, more of a cracker crust. I would use whatever the flour weighed. I used half of that weight in water. It gives you 50% hydration. That's how you mm -hmm. figure it, just so you know, Lance. Right. <laughs> no, okay. And I'll, and I'll start watching some more videos, but I was just wondering, I'm reading some of these comments. I was just wondering if it was like necessary to, to or, or, or go back to the Neapolitan. I mean, do you have to cook it at that temperature? Of course, to be a Neapolitan, you do. Temperature longer. To be a yeah. true ne Neapolitan, you got to. My stones are only rated at 750 degrees. They had those Saputa stones, and if I had them in my in my pizza oven, I could get up to 850 to 900 degrees, and that's really where most of those Neapolitans are cooked at. They're like 60 second pizzas. Put them in, spin them, 60 seconds. You pull it out, it's cooked. You know. Yeah, so it, it takes it, about an hour and a half. I mean, a minute and a half on at seven fifty. You know. Yeah, and and to add to what Russ just said, yeah, if you want it to be traditional, you want to use a traditional dough recipe, then you do have to cook it at that high temperature. Yeah. Now yeah. you can adjust the dough and the hydration and everything to say cook it in your home oven, but it's not going to be like authentic. No, it's not. Well, I mean, I guess I ain't going to have nobody's going to rate my pizza if i would properly cook my neapolitan like the guru says and 
if, if that's the way it's got to be, then you're not allowed in my house. Your wife might say something. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're happy with it, who cares? But that's, right. but that's my question. I mean, is it a necessity? I mean, can you no. cook it at a lower temperature longer and get yeah, you, you can. Result? You yeah, can, but it's not going. You'd have to bite into one to understand. I reckon it's going to cook different at a lower temperature for longer. It's not going to be the same texture. It, it's just going to be different. I promise you. On a Neapolitan, like the ones I did, if you look, it's real thin when it comes off, except for the crust. It's ballooned up because there's nothing laying on it. You can see all those air pockets in it. And that was right. the best part. And just so, so full of flavor, you know. It's almost so you, it's like you get a crunch from it, maybe. No, no crunch. It's no more crunch. like a, I would compare the 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 limberness of it to like a, a New York style pizza, something similar to that, but Damn, it's still I thought different. you were gonna say Randy for sure right there, but <laughs> no. no, a New York style usually there's big slices and and when you hold it by the crust, it should do this and then droop. Kind of like fast a or down. If it, the whole <laughs> thing droops, it's not done right. If it stands straight out, it ain't done right. You know, there's people that are that into it. I'm serious. Yeah. You know, no, but and I'm that's what, and I get that. I do get that because there's a right way of doing things and there's sure. a wrong way of doing things. But I'm just like, I mean, so in other words, if I make a, a Neapolitan pizza and I cook a Neapolitan pizza, I best not film it because the pizza Nazis. Are going to tear my ass up with that twenty four hours. I think. I think if More you're not going to, yeah, but, if you're not going to cook a Neapolitan, I'm sorry. If you're not going to use something that can get to that temperature, I wouldn't cook Neapolitan. No. I would try New York style because it doesn't require as high temperatures. Right. You can That's adjust right. the dough a little bit, and you can still cook it in your home oven if you have like a really thick piece of like steel. I watch yeah. a guy on YouTube who preheats his home oven for an hour and a half with this like three eighths inch steel. That he cooks the pizza on and it looks like it comes out pretty good um but i wouldn't yeah. do neapolitan style i wouldn't try to do that without a, no something. that that does require like a really hot oven to do that but but i'm also not a pizza master so <laughs> yeah, there you go Here's oh another. me either me either I, I mean i can make a decent pizza but i'm no authority on it by a long shot <clears throat> you know well, i'm reading sal's i'm trying to catch up the comments you said so some people are actually buying water from new york come on man I've heard that. We've got a bagel place down here. These people are from New York, and the rumor is they ship water from New York. I don't believe it, but... Well, see, that's kind of like the French bread that comes out of New Orleans at Leidenheimer. They swear it's the New Orleans water that gives it that distinct crumb, that distinct flavor. And it, who knows? I don't know. But I doubt it. You know, I doubt it's the water. But uh, when I do pizza, I, I buy bottled water. That's all I use. I don't even use our tap water. I think Domino's only cooks their pizza at like 350. So you could get away with that, Lance. Yeah. I'm Go sorry. Ahead and get some Domino's. They only cook their pizza at like 350 degrees. So yeah. Get some I, there, well, we, we do get Domino's. I, those, um, every once in a while, those, um, what do they call those things? Um, Mutts, no, Parmesan bites. Those things yeah. are good, man. Those things yeah. are good. Fresh. I tell you what, I've I've had made some pretty good pizzas years yeah. ago, way before YouTube, just right there out of my oven on a pizza stone. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, I broke my pizza the first pizza stone I ever had, and the reason being the recipe yeah. called to put it in the refrigerator overnight and pull it out an hour before you go and cook it. Don't ever bleed that crap. If you pull it out of the fridge, let it sit for five hours, get all the chill off of it. Because as soon as I had I had that pizza ready to slide in there. As soon as it hit that uh, hot plate, it cracked it. I'm like, crap, man. So what I've done, I went to the uh, Lowe's, and I bought some six-inch square non-glazed quarry tiles, ceramic tiles, non-glazed. And I bought one, two, three, four. I think I bought six. Maybe I bought – I made enough to make, like, a, a pizza go on, no problem. And I bought some extras. That way, if I broke one one little tile, I could just replace it with another one. And it only costs like $10 or under to buy all these tiles. They were like 30 cents a piece or something like that. And I did that for years. That's all I used. Turn that oven up. Hopefully, your oven can get up to at least 500. And that can make some decent pizza, you know? 
as long as you got the right crust for it. Lance, I'll, I'll sell you my old pizza oven for 75 bucks, but I don't know what shipping would cost. <laughs> yeah, no, I can get them. It's a uni pellet. Yeah. It, it gets up pretty pretty hot. I can oh, yeah. get those. I want to. I want something that's going to get something. Take something sixteen inches wide. I don't want the little twelve inch wide jobbers. Yeah, and that's yeah, because I, I want to get into, you know, doing some big strombolis, some uh, strombolis, uh, some bread doughs, and making some big, some serious subs. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't like the uni. It wasn't the width. Um, even though I would have liked it to be a little wider, it was like, you know, the height, it, it there's just, it's tiny little slit. So, so if anything bubbles, it sticks to the top. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. I like my, the big oven I got, cause I could technically do three pizzas at one time, but I don't trust myself enough to do that. I'm going to keep my own one at a time. All right, here's one. Let me do another, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's yeah. the way I'm going to do it. But, uh, that's just me. Yeah. I, I think my new one. Enough. I think my new one can do two at a time, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, you know, the woman that I was going through that contacted me originally through uh, Fontana, I, she was wanting me to send her all the videos I did to footage to where they could use it, like making shorts and this, that, and the other with. So I upload them to my uh, the iCloud, and I was going to share it with her. And anyway, she was gone, man. She done quit and got another job, and I had never been reached back out to through nobody. So I just kind of quit making videos for right now. I mean, I'm gonna go back to it, but you remember the uh, little short I said I made with the chicken wings? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I put that on something, I guess Facebook, and I'll be darn if Fontana didn't take that same footage and use it on there, which I don't have no problem with. You know, I owe them a lot more than that, but they went ahead and used that footage even though it wasn't a technical YouTube video or anything like that, but I did share it out, you know, so, but they're probably wondering, but they know how to get a hold to me. What are you going to do some more videos? <laughs> you know, one day, one day when I feel like it, it ain't going to be no time soon. Go, we're fixing to get in the hot water, hot weather. It'll probably be in a fall. Next fall, I might start firing that thing up, doing another little short series, but, it's like you said, man, the day I do it, I know I'm not going to get no views on it. Yeah. Not right away. It might eventually, you know. But is that just because your channel being known as a barbecue channel, you think? or is it I just... don't think so. I think people just simply aren't interested. It's out of their reach, so why even watch it? It's like most people watch a video, they're either trying to learn how to do something or they want to try that recipe. But when you go to throw in $1,000 pieces of equipment in front of them, they're like, they're not interested because unless they got one, they're just not interested. You know, I get it. Yeah. It's just too much of a specialty item. I think people can yeah. watch high end, uh, offset cookers because that's like their goal at some point is to get sure. one of those. Yeah. But a pizza oven is just not something. Right. And most people look at it as just that a pizza oven, even yeah, though it's... you could do a lot more with it. I tell you what I want to do on that pizza. And I've said it before. I want to do a salted fish you know, where you embed it in salt on the bottom and the top and everything, it would go in that oven. It's kind of like a fish in a an oven in an oven, so to speak. I want to mm -hmm. play around with that and get like a big red fish and put him off in there. And uh, that, that would probably be something I would do next when I do decide to use it again. But hell, this old hick, that's first time I fired that thing up in probably six months or longer. It's been a long time, you know. But I really haven't done much barbecue lately. I've done that video. And I did the ribs here a few weeks ago for Pits and Spits. And that's the only barbecue I've done in probably over six months that I can uh, think of, you know. That makes sense, Sal. I mean, if you just had like an attachment for your Weber, I mean, maybe that would be something that would get more uh, attraction, you know, to a barbecue channel if you no. were making videos from a weber yeah and, and they got one i own one it's actually there's it's called a kettle pizza i was using that too and uh that was pretty cool you got your weber you take the lid off you put this insert on top of it. it's about that tall but the slit's real small like you was saying about your uni <clears throat> mm -hmm. then you put the lid back on it and the uh the stone and the uh well no just the stone it's a round stone, but one end of it's cut off flat. 
because you stack logs in your Weber and you build a good roaring fire at the back of the Weber and that stone is cut away to allow that fire to roll over. And that actually worked pretty decent, you know, for no more than it cost. Really? I bought and paid for that years ago. Yeah, I used I would, it on several videos way back when I, I first started. I've seen people use the firebox on their offset to make a pizza, too. It looks like it comes out pretty good. I did that. It's on... Uh, yeah, on you, you did do that on your Lone Star, didn't you? Yeah, that turned... I'll tell you what. As far as... Other than my pizza oven, I had the best results with that over a Kamado. I sure did, man. That turned out really good. I, mm -hmm. I wish I had space on mine because uh, my firebox only is that much, but I, I have to make a, like a small pizza if I was to do that. <laughs> You make a little little personal size yeah, bagel bite. On a lid of it, you're saying? In, in the offset smoker, the firebox, you in build your fire. Box. Right. And then you put like a stone above it if you have a grate. And then you, you put the pizza on that stone. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, to, Russ has a video. I think he's the one I was thinking of. I would need to have it um, put in some angle iron. It's not going to sit the, the pizza stone right on top of the fire. But it it's so so crowded it's so crowded. I don't think it'll be um, enough room. I don't think it'd be worth it. Or you can make a pizza oven out of washing machine. Didn't you say that, Lance? Yeah, yeah. Probably Detmert's. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? The stone for a Weber? That's a stone for a Weber you're talking about? I've got the. Uh... The kettle pizza, they make one for a gas grill, too. I have that version. That it is, just use, uses too much gas. If you look at that uh, that pizza stone I used on that offset, I use a stone just like that that's cut away at the back. That's also the kind of stone you would use on a kettle pizza. That is, that that's why I was asking you, but you didn't have your headset on. So that's, that's for a Weber right there, the one you're talking about. Yeah, this is shit. This oh. company sent this to me, golly, five years ago, and I never used it because I own another thick stone that's cut away. So I'm just gonna save it in case that one ever broke or anything. <laughs> but Barbecue Dragon, I know y'all have heard of them. That's who who sold it or sells it. Barbecue Dragon. Yeah. Those nasty notes. <laughs> Let me uh, get these headphones off again. I keep this up under my couch here. It just lives there. Sal says he wants to do a pizza uh, on his channel and halfway through stop and order pizza. Didn't he do that for that brisket cook? <laughs> he got too drunk, so he ordered one from Bucky's. <laughs> uh, so when he was making that brisket, he was on my live that Saturday. Yeah, I'm just messing around. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's uh, been a number of times where I'm halfway through a barbecue cook and I'm like, uh, ah. <laughs> just order some Chinese. You got Dino <laughs> nuggets and the frozen food section. Yeah, a little, little shaped like a dino. Yeah. Suck it, fools. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm actually thinking of making a pizza in a cast iron pan in the oven. Um, uh, isn't that how Pizza Hot, no Pizza Hut, used to actually would make their pan pizzas out of a cast iron? Don't know. I don't know. But I, I follow this guy on on YouTube that he did it on um one of his lodges. Um, he has a fourteen inch, and uh, the best I can do right now is a thirteen and a half, which is probably good good enough, you know. That's not a full fourteen, though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. What, for under 50 bucks, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, is that the one you saw yeah. at HEB? Yeah. The pizza I've been interested in, a lot of people have been posting about the, uh, it's called like Boston Bar Pizza or something. Yeah, that's the thing too. That's similar to that the good. one I did, that Chicago Tavern Pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have a, I don't know if I told y'all, I don't know who I told earlier today, but I have a $50 gift card from like a year ago. Yeah. And I was going to use that to pay for for that. Uh, it's a large uh, 13 and a half inch uh, cast iron. It wouldn't go through. I, I tried I tried twice. It wouldn't go through. So I called them, make sure there was uh, money in it, which is, which, which was 50 bucks. But I called customer service and there was, uh, I was telling them that I tried, I've tried to use it at least twice before. 
in, in the in in the in the year that I've had the card, and uh, both times it got rejected, and they looked into it and it has never been uh, activated. So that's the problem. So tomorrow I'm gonna see if I can go get that that uh, that uh, cast iron pan. Well, you have to, don't you? Isn't that where your card is still? No, I mean I have the card. Oh, I thought you. you no, it's a, it's a it's like a gift card, right? Right. So I it's in my wallet, but uh, I have to go and um, send me the number. <laughs> yeah. Hey AJ, something else just hit my mind because I was reading this comment about pizza dough, getting it locally. But if you end up making you a good Neapolitan style dough, uh, what I what I do is I make a lot of it and I'll roll it into balls. And I'll let them rise for like four or five hours. And then, uh, oh crap, let me plug my power in. But anyway, uh, I'll take them dough balls after they rise a little bit and I'll roll them back in a ball and I'll vacuum pack them. You know what I'm saying? And I'll freeze them. Right. And when you that's thaw what them I plan out, to they, do. Yeah, man. <clears throat> that way you have a whole bunch of them in your freezer. You want pizza one night, like take it and put it out that morning because mm-hmm. it's going to have to. The only problem that is, if it goes to rising too much, you want to get it out of that out of that uh, vacuum bag and give it room to expand or whatever. But it takes about six hours from the time you take it out of the freezer for it to really start getting right and and growing. You know, to where you can work with it. Hey, so Barrio get- Cookers, have you? Uh, I have your your comment pin up here, but um, uh, thank you. Uh, but have you uh, done a video on yours yet, or or not yet? It's what. His uh his disco like the one I have for uh, the McCurran video, this okay, right, right yeah. okay. And also, so you're aware based on a uh, question he had, can you buy pizza dough from places? Some people will sell it to you, but you can yeah. also buy it frozen off of Amazon. It'll come to you frozen. You I really try to make, uh try my hand at it, try to make it. You know. Oh, that's yeah, me. Could, my wife was buying it from either uh, that beast Gigi. BJ Wholesale Club or Walmart, it was a plastic bag. Yeah, I, I yeah, bought it. it. Fresh dough. That's what I, we used to use and for an oven pizza. Now, it wasn't legit. You yeah, know, you, you can, sure we would be criticized and hauled off in handcuffs. But no, you, you can definitely it, buy it from the grocery store, but it's set up for your home oven. Yeah. But if you, if you call one of your local pizza places, they'll most likely sell you dough too. Yeah. Well, the place that um, up the road from it, his is that's a sort of a family place, and it's the same thing. You know, they make their dough, and they, they get just trays and trays of all these ball dough balls that they make for you know the small pizza, the large pizzas, and it all goes into the walk-in box. But they've been making it pizza dough for for years like that. But I bet you that would be a good alternative. But they actually gave us a. Um, one of those mesh uh, screens, I guess, to cook a pizza on in your oven. Mm-hmm. You're, when you're un- improperly cooking a pizza, you use these mesh things. And they gave them, uh, gave us one because I've known them for years. But I bet you they would give you dough. I never even thought about that myself, going to them and picking up a, a ball yeah. of dough. Yeah, yeah I, I bought it in a pinch from a local place. But some are pretty reasonable. Some are pretty expensive. Um, it's not hard to make dough. You just got to plan ahead. That's, that's oh, the it is, there's part. really nothing to it. You use that uh, double zero flour. You got salt. You got water, and that's basically and, and a little bit of yeast, and that's a, that's it. it. It's so simple. A lot, some recipes they put olive oil in it. Do this, do that. But that that Neapolitan recipe that I use, I've got it wrote down. It's on that video. It's, it should be in the description box uh how what i added to that dough let me i'm gonna pull it up on this other computer and then some people see. use like a, a poolish or poulash or they a start poolish. With, yeah that's yeah, like a pre to ferment yeah. yeah it can get tricky i don't know i don't know anything about pizza didn't mean to take over the whole live about pizza <laughs> could have fooled me but sourdough bread's getting crazy around here i had that's no luck with that work. man i I could not grow the wild yeast. It refused to grow in this damn house. It There's a lady like that. that is posting on a, a community Facebook page once a month that she's got dough 
ready to go and it's all sourdough you can even buy sourdough uh what was the one that i saw the other day it was a blueberry lemon zest sourdough bread hmm. and i was like really that sounds pretty good let's see here go on back getting close <laughs> Yeah, wood, wood fire Philly cheese steak. Yeah, everybody's in a Saturday. I was in a barbecue, so what am I, <laughs> Sal? Yeah. No, I didn't put it in the description box, but it is on on the video itself. Simon, did you see his last comment about the uh, you did, yeah, chicharrones? Okay. Yeah, I did. I think I've seen this one. Um, I have not seen the chicharron one. <laughs> hey, that I ain't, I ain't above that, Randy. I'd eat that in a heartbeat. I've eaten worse. I've tried that making pizza that way too, with a slice of bread, spaghetti sauce, a sleet, and uh, cheese. I buy them Stouffer's French bread pizza sometime. I'll eat it, man. I'll, I'll eat the heck out of frozen pizza as long as it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Tarina bought one the other day. I'm trying to remember what the brand was. It was one I've never heard of, and I actually liked it. I got to go in there anyway. I'm going to ask for what it was. The best frozen pizza I've ever had is called Home Run. That's just my opinion, but if you can find that in the store, it's pretty good. We we get that. What was it? Um, shit, I can't remember. Did you know? Did you know? Yeah. yeah the the, uh, sucks. The uh, pizza oven style thin crust or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like DiGiorno. It's weird. It's like not like just it tastes like DiGiorno. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's not like normal okay. pizza. It's not bad. I'll eat it. It's, but it's, not. it's not that foo foo college boy pizza. College you know, where boy everything pizza, has yeah. to be politically correct in order to bite into it. <laughs> no, I just think it kind of tastes like cardboard. Is that, they have well, I well, I would agree they have a thick and thin, brick oven. I think that's what it's called. Brick oven. The brick, the brick oven is not bad. I'll give you that. For a frozen pizza, it's not bad. Yeah. Now so, there's a bunch of people making videos like this. French bread uh to make a quick pizza. Make a quick pizza isn't bad at all. Yeah. Sam the cooking guy, you had one like I think on Monday, which would look pretty good. You still watch that guy? I can't I can't watch him. He's funny. He's he's a little too much for me. Eh, you're getting old. Getting old. <laughs> you're getting I'm old like and grumpy. Ten years younger than you. You're old and grumpy, man. That that baby still old has and some. It still has some black hair in it. Yeah, well, it's not all gray yet. Wait till your daughter gets one or two years old. <laughs> man, you brought you guys probably haven't even seen her recently. She's gotten huge. She's almost uh, crawling and walking now. She's is she eight really? Months, eight months, nine months. Mm -hmm. Is she she's really? I now. guess she's yeah. probably. I guess she's probably pulling herself up on things and everything now. She's trying yeah, my, to. My niece's little boy is, I think, uh, like a month younger than yours, and he he's already like uh, pulling his, himself up and uh, standing, like grabbing onto stuff. It's crazy, man. It's things go by dreadful. so quickly. I told my niece, "Watch, wait till you see him uh, kick his leg over the crib, trying to get out." <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah. Any of y'all ever watched? Getting big. Oh my yeah, goodness! Hold on. Growing. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting yeah. big. <laughs> she's a kitty. She, yeah. yeah. She sure is. Y'all ever? Yeah. Any of y'all ever watch Stranger Things on Netflix? Yep. Yep. Then you're familiar familiar with Surfer Boy Pizza. That was yeah. the pizza that she bought. They got them in Walmart. It wasn't bad. Cool. I mean, it wasn't no frozen no frozen pizza is good, but it, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's edible, you know. Well, I mean, that's just a money grab there. Mm -hmm. You know the one of the but worst pizzas I've ever tried. What's that? Um, you know Dave Portney, the guy who does all the pizza reviews on YouTube. He's Barstool. Yeah, sports. yeah. He, he came out with his own line of frozen pizza. 
I can't remember the name brand of it, but it's not very good at all. It's like worse than normal frozen pizza, <laughs> which is funny. Uh, review, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. I was really surprised. Huh. Man, this freaking thread place. I had to order some new threads in. They got me before, too. It's like $35 for shipping and handling out of Ohio a year for some spools of thread. It's like, come on, people. Don't the Amish make their own thread? Can't you just, you know. Well, I probably could. It's the, the German thread's what I use, but that's just crazy. You know, on that last video I just dropped yesterday, in that video I was talking about the economy and how things has gotten so high and expensive and, you know, cost of fortune, blah, blah, blah. And some guy come in there and commented. Quite a few people responded back, too. And he said, uh, the economy's, uh, what do you mean by that? Could you please explain, you know, like the economy's great or whatever. And I just asked, I said, have you not bought anything lately? It's crazy. The prices are crazy. And he never commented back, but a lot of other people did. And and further down the line, this one guy, he's like, oh, Lord. I said, the, you, people must be living, of, you people are living on a rock or something, you know. Yeah, it's a few spools of thread. I guarantee you that box ain't no more than five pounds. The thread is $82 and change. They invoiced my credit card $124 and change. Whew. That's crazy, man. I mean, is the thread made in the U.S. or where are they sourcing? Oh. You got to find out where the source is, man. No, it is. It's a German thread, but it's distributed here. It's coming oh. out of Ohio. Yeah, you got to find. Ohio, you got to cut out Pennsylvania, and this one's coming out of Ohio. Wow, you got to cut that's out like, that middleman. That's like them gears I told you order all eBay. That's like that's a weight weighs fifty pounds, man. It's freaking heavy. And they offered free shipping. I paid thirty dollars for all them gears, free shipping. I'm like, how in the world did they ship that and and send all them gears to me for for thirty dollars? I'll never yeah. understand that one. No, bro, it's not. That's that's the whole thing. It just blows my mind. It was supposed to come out of Pennsylvania. I was just reading the invoice just now because I saw I got an update because I no. told them, and it said that they're shipping everything out of Ohio now. But it was thirty five dollars. They're they're making money with their shipping. Oh hell yeah! I People on eBay do that too. They'll they'll put a high shipping just to get a couple extra bucks. I, I replied back to it. I said, you know, we ship out of here weekly. I said, my dear, well, I shouldn't have said that. I said, so bleep bleep bleep, thread company. Your shipping costs and handling costs are extreme. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm sorry. I guarantee you, I'll show you the box. Kind of hard to make I bet you it doesn't weigh five five pounds. Hard to make a profit when you're having to pay prices like that, unless you jack your stuff, you know? Right. Are there other companies you can go through? There is, but this thread was recommended to me by this guy that does all the digitizing, and he's been, he's done went through all the thread things i have started to go through all the thread brands and then you know it gets pricey because they'll just start I and mean, they're ju it's just junk thread and you don't know until you start stitching the hat and it's breaking every two minutes you know the threads breaking you got to you know backtrack and hope that you overlap properly and and correctly before you start stitching again after you've re you know rethreaded everything all over again so it's a hassle but he recommended this German made thread and it's good thread. You know, I don't know why I'm bitching about it other than the fact that he, I feel like I are you know, screw me again with the shipping, but it's good stuff. It is good stuff. But I wonder, I is it, is it a flat rate shipping? Like, are they like selling to high volume companies or something? Well, it, it probably wouldn't be bad the shipping, but it's, they put a handling charge on top of the shipping charge. Yeah, so, so I'm wondering, it, so if you buy one spool of thread versus like hundreds of spools, is it the same shipping and handling costs or is it? No, it's based on the dollar amount. Oh, well, that's based crazy then. The you got to find, yeah, find a different supplier then. Yeah. yeah, it's based on the dollar amount. And this is probably, I don't know, maybe 16 spools. But some of them are just a little, you know, little oh, tester damn. spools. Majority of them are actually little tester spools. I don't want to buy, you know, 
six thousand yards if I don't, you know, until I actually get the color on my hand and see if it's going to do what I want, you know. So I'll yeah. get like, a, you know, like eleven hundred yard spool or something. <laughs> Golly. So you've been. Uh, so what's huh? going on with your website, Lance? Is it? Is it? I'm waiting live? for you. I'm waiting for you at this point. What are you waiting for me? I tried to get with you a couple times. And you're like, no, I'm busy. It's sunny out. I'm going to go outside. Busy. And then I try to get a hold of you a couple times. I'll get back to you. Get, I'll get back with you. I'll get, oh, man, <laughs> uh, baby's got me tied down. Baby's got me tied down. So, yes, it has been a sort of a, a, a hard thing for us to iron out. But, yes, I'm waiting on you. I actually did look at it over the weekend because I was trying to figure out if there's other ways oh, for exposure, getting more exposure out of it. Mm -hmm. And there is things that you can click on that says something about Google exposure, Facebook exposure, and I want to say it was TikTok <laughs> exposure. But it's like one of those things, man, I just don't want to. I don't think you need to do any of that, in my opinion. Okay. I think you need to get your name out with having bigger YouTubers like Dead Broke and Russ advertising their merch and then that'll bring traffic to your channel or to your right. website that's what you should do yeah so if on video we, we, we yeah we, we can talk about more in private but i i would i'm a wouldn't money advertise got, <laughs> I, I i wouldn't advertise like my stuff because nobody's gonna buy my stuff uh, I, you know i just i don't agree with that i mean so i just mm -hmm. I, mean, I get what you're saying 100 percent. but if I me mean, if i can sell you know just one item for you. I feel like I've paid you back for the favor that you've done. No, no, no. You, you don't owe me any favors. Don't put my stuff on there. Nobody's buying my stuff. <laughs> I'll you be honest with you. Maybe it's the company that does it, but below my videos, unless you're paying for premium or whatever, I don't think it shows, but I've got them t shirts and stuff listed through uh, Teespring. I don't never sell anything, man. They just. All right. They used to. When I first started, I sold a handful of them, but I haven't sold a T-shirt, and I can't tell you when. Maybe I need to come up with some new logos or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like Do they charge you for, for a shirt, or they they charge you monthly? Huh? Do they, do they charge you every time they they you they you they you sell a shirt? A shirt? Oh, they take their profit out of it. But I tell you what, yeah. when you do sell one. You get to keep like half of what the people paid on it. It's, it's really good commission on it. Yeah. If you if they buy a shirt for twenty dollars, I make ten dollars on it. And okay. uh, like I said, when it when YouTube first started allowing that, man, I was selling quite a few of them. But I might sell one or two a year now, maybe. You know, and that's usually somebody that knows me from these chats. Like I know Chuck and that uh, one, you know. And does uh, YouTube charge you for that? Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Not that I know of. Well, I, well, I just, I filled out a thing the other day for YouTube and that was um, trying to, asking me if I made my own product. And I said, yes. And I wanted to get into doing some more like that Teespring stuff. Yeah. You know, like doing something like that. And it's like, well, what can we do to help it? So, you know, I answered all their questions. Mm -hmm. It was just something general that came out, you know, and um I haven't heard anything back from her yet, but that's what I would like to be. I'd be cool shit to be able to do your own two Teespring thing of embroidered well, quality I, stuff. I think the uh, creators you want to host or sell their stuff, they need to, you know, push it in their videos. Hey, I got merch available now. So whoever you're going to be selling, they need to start pushing that in their videos to drive traffic to your website. Simon, out, and I sort of hit, Simon and I sort of kind of hit spot on this. Uh, and you know, I've got a, I've got the best I can do right now. Again, going back to computer skills, a, a section for Russ, a section for Ricer, a section for Goose or Goose, Guggen, um, Simon 805, I think it was. And, um, and, the, and with the idea of, so I can't, and again, maybe I can, but I just don't know how to like assign a number for like uh, Russ's page. So if I have a section that's called Smoky Ribs Barbecue, which I do, 
but they the way it is now set up if they if you come look at the storefront you're going to see all of them you're not going yeah. to see just russes yeah you'll have to have like a direct link somehow yeah you need well, a direct right. link. So well, i well, want to do like a percentage thing you know kicking back to the channels you know a percentage of that sale uh, yeah. back to them but i just haven't figured out how to i'm not worried about it i done told you that from get go if you can make money off my logo i don't care man use it yeah don't. Right, bro, i'm, probably, I'm not, I just I'm not like, greedy i'm not like that you no know, i man. get i get all that yeah. and i appreciate it but the pride in and this man is that you know if i can just return the favor a little bit oh, i know yeah yeah you should be able to uh have you a row of links on that main page and each each thing they click opens up a new link or a new page you know right and uh that's that's pretty easy to do actually back when i yeah. used to build websites you know especially with today's the website builders that's out there you know but uh yeah well we'll go through it lance hopefully this week if if it's not too sunny for you and yeah but I, i'll be honest you with you what? i think yes. a, a lot of the money you would potentially earn with that would be from people wanting their logo done yeah you know yeah. Other than buying somebody else's stuff. Yeah. yeah. You need to do twofold. Yeah. And yeah. You need, not you... just, I was going to say, not just YouTube logos, people doing YouTube, people doing all kinds of company logos, you know, like where Derek works. They got their own hats, ball hats that the people that work there wear, just all kind of potential out there, you know? Yeah. No, and I, and I know, actually, I noticed one of my hat suppliers just went to uh heat press and hats you know so it's like you know i i don't know i think there's something there it is hard to do i was reading sal's comment i had a um my insurance claim business that i had for re, uh, refer uh, repairing furniture stuff it was uh, i did a web page because i was talked into it you know, to show the stuff that we do, the transit damages that we repair, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. I got nothing from that. Nothing. But that was decades ago. Yeah. A couple of decades ago. So I'm like, you know, maybe websites are a little bit, you know, better for you now. I, I don't know, you know. Well, people shop online like no other time in history. But you gotta you got to be, get out there to where they even know you exist somehow through SEO marketing or whatever, you know. Yeah, well, Bison merch. <laughs> Click the yeah. link, Bison merch. Well, actually I checked yeah. on it last night and there's there's somebody put something in the shopping cart, two items, but see that's the other thing. I don't like I can't see that. I can see <clears throat> that it's that it's being calculator or watched in like an analytics thing from Iquid, but it doesn't tell me who did that or what they you know what they put in the shopping cart which i thought was a little weird but again not doing something right no well, i, I, I tried yeah. clicking on it and it wouldn't yeah, do it if you know how most shopping cart works they'll want your name and i always ask for that email address that's one of the first things you fill out then it takes you to another page Let's talk about how you're going to pay for this. You know, then it takes you to the final page. And yeah. so you done collected all that data from the first two pages where they pull the final trigger or not. And usually you're able to see all that, you know, yeah. if it's set up properly. Well, this is like an analytics report that I get from them. I'm talking, I'll go about, in there. I'm talking about real time. As somebody's in oh. there shop you should be getting some sort of information back on that which would be analytics but it should be instantaneous available yeah. to you you know and that was the other thing too Guggen, because i see what sal just put in there there's a section in that page to where i cannot figure out to save my soul how to fill it out down to like the very last page in there where you can put in an email address or something like that i think it is and a phone mm -hmm. number which I don't know that I want to put my phone. I don't want to put my address in there. I know that for a fact. Um, my phone number. I haven't decided on it on that just yet. Uh, you talking but, about on the website? Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you something, and you can do what you want to do. But people that visit websites, I do this all the time. I'll look 
at the uh, info and contact, and I'll see if they're willing to give me their name. Ad- I want to know who I'm buying this from to sit there scam companies right. that don't supply a, a valid address and information. Right. Most people aren't going to buy from them, you know, just so you're aware of that. I remember yeah, no, and, that, and, that, years, and I, so. I really don't have a problem with it with the email because yeah. I mean, the email address is already in the, in the page. Yeah. Um, but, um, I'm talking about a business the very address. bottom, sir. I'm talking about most people want to see a business physical address. Yeah. You know, but I just have a problem with putting the address in there. I really do. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know why. I mean, I could put a partial address in there, like, you know, Maryland, you know, something to that effect, but to put yeah. the actual physical address in there, I just don't want people coming here, you know, yeah. any time of the day or, you know, whenever they're happen to be in the area that's pop in here. I don't right. know I'm here or not, you know? Yeah. One, yeah. two, three, four, three. I, I was just saying that that's the thing that back when I used to fool websites years ago, in order to look legit, you got to list certain things, you know, but as far as addresses go, when I hooked back up with my buddy Jim here not long ago, we was on the phone and he goes, uh, you live on Belmont, right? I said, and I'm sitting there like on the other end of the phone. Like, How does he know that? And uh, anyway, when I finally met him that day, I said, how did you know I lived on Belmont? He goes, oh, I did a Google search. It, it's in there. <laughs> yeah. But people, all they got to do is Google Lance. And, and you, yeah, you probably, and you're probably absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh, you're probably absolutely correct. I've got uh, a family member that spends a lot of her time doing this kind of stuff. Like she wants to Google somebody and, you know, get their background and it's just, I don't know. I guess she gets her jollies out of it maybe, but I, I don't know. But I got to tell you, she finds some information out sometimes. It's like, really? I had no idea yeah. about that. That, about if, that if you've been living in the same place for any month, I've been living here 10 years and I've done it myself. I'm right there, man. I'm easy to find, you know? Yeah. And I wouldn't know how to go about to do all that stuff, but I think even my wife can do some of that stuff because she's checked up on uh, one of my daughter's boyfriends before. Yeah, I'm going to see something. I'm trying to get my other computer open here. Did you own a business called Buell Home Remodeling? Yeah. Okay. Still do. It's licensed to the state of Maryland. Yeah, found you on uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. It's all right. Uh, probably furniture repairs too. That was the uh, national transit damage I used to do. I used to travel states to do um, transit repairs. Yeah, there's Buell's Home Remodeling, Handyman Services. Yep. Lance and a phone Buell, number. Official USA <laughs> Records. Lance Buell, owner Buell's Home Remodeling. Lance Buell, phone number, address, age, contact. Lance Buell, uh, OnlyFans. 6579. <laughs> Does your address start with a 79? Oh, that's an old address. Okay, yeah. well, I found it. That was a lot number. Oh, here's another one right here. This is a different one. Does your does the numbers on your address start with a three? Yeah. Then a then I'll give you the last one. That number a three on one end, a zero on the other end. Yeah. I just found you just that quick yeah. and easy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm saying. Nobody go knocking on your door. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was St. Mary Mary's uh, County. It's. Never mind. I'm yeah. not gonna say no more. Oh, the county. Yeah, he's in the county. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at the uh, road he's on. Yeah, the city, county. There should be another one in there. I think there was um, the furniture repairs was in there because that was. Yeah, it was your only fence. That was before it went, no one of them, but that was before the uh, furniture. Damn, that's even got a picture of you a mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> well. Might might have to do with something with that. <laughs> He's here 
for the porn stars of the 70s. I'm looking through. <laughs> Randy, Randy's looking through your window now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's almost scary how much information you can get from good. It man. Is. It's like it, it shouldn't is. even be legal, to be honest with you. There ought to be more privacy than that. But it's an open book. I guess if they put it in a phone book, they can put it on, on the internet. At least with the phone books years ago, you had to write. I think you could, had to pay more, but to be unlisted. Yeah, you pay a little bit more. Yeah, how do you be unlisted from the internet? You don't. You know that I know of. You just have to keep moving, stay on the run. Pack up your shit, Lance. It's time to go. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can, Randy. Yeah, we we can find Randy right there in Channel View. We already got. I don't remember his real name though. I do. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there he goes. Find me, Russ. <laughs> he said it numerous times. I just yep. can't remember it. Let's, show, let's go with that spelling because I don't know exactly how it's supposed to I'm not thing. seeing a Randy Shifter nowhere in Channel View. <laughs> Easy to find. You'll see a fallen. We ain't, seen tonight. we ain't seen NBL tonight. Mm -mm. Now that you mention it, just dawned on me. Oh, first thing I found, I found them. Channel View, Texas. Did you? Hi guys. Adrena. Yeah, it took me all the twenty seconds to find Lance's address on on Google. <laughs> it's Saint Mary's. Me. Saint Mary's County. Yeah. yeah. Let me go, Simon. I gotta let this dog out, take a pee break. He's hanging around me a whole lot lately. Yes, sir. I'm gonna need your help here in a minute. Doing what? We gotta put the trash cans up. We got a bad storm coming in. Let me rest. You just get them from the road up here? No, not from the road, from the side the of the house over here, over, I guess, to the other side of the house. That storm gonna be that bad? They're, they're, yeah, they're saying they've even canceled school. Tornadoes. When's all this gonna happen? Starting tonight, later. Oh crap! I gotta get that grill put together. <laughs> it's outside. No, it's in the garage. But if I go out there tomorrow and open, I don't want rain blowing in on me, you know. And I was actually gonna start cooking this. I guess I'm about to cook, do it all Friday if the storm moves out of here. I might put it together Thursday then. I ain't getting out there if it's storming hell with it. They put me off already. I had to sign a little contract with them, and it's supposed to be uploaded. Uh, what's today? The tenth? No, the ninth. It's supposed to be uploaded by the ninth. And they come back. They says there's been a change. We need you now to upload it by the fifteenth. All right, no problem. Hey, That's Randy, did you ever live in San Antonio? <laughs> no, it's in the garage unless it tears the garage down. But I'm losing a lot more than that grill. So hopefully your uh, your old smoky lands over here, or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> old hickory. <laughs> old hickory, yeah. Yeah. I tell you, too, I got to look at all the stuff in it, but I was like, God, I wish I wouldn't agree to this. <laughs> it's mainly just putting it together. I don't mind shooting the video part of it. It's just, I paid Derek one time. It was a, uh, oh, I know what it was. It was at uh, Master Belt, Gravity Fed I got that time. Oh, and yeah. I said, you want to make some extra money? He goes, yeah. I said, I'll pay you $100. I'll go pick this one. He lived on a sailboat. I said, I'll go pick you up. You come back over here and put this grill together while I sit there in a chair with a beer and watch you. He goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I've done. I sit there and making sure he did it right. You know, I was out there being a supervisor. Gave me yeah. $100. I thank you. Thank you very much. I had the same smoker. It took me at least an hour or two to put together. It was a pain in the yeah. butt. They are a pain. I just, man. Damn, I don't like putting grills. a Weber together and a Weber's easy. It ain't nothing but legs, you know, and a mm -hmm. pan, but I don't even like doing that. I love building stuff. I just don't like putting grills together. I hear you. 
Well, I don't know. I don't mind putting grills together. All the shit I've been buying lately is used, so I got to go pick them up by myself, if, rent a trailer. Such a pain. Yeah. If you ever watch uh, Dead Broke Barbecue's video, you see he puts his, all them pits together, his boys. He's out yeah. there doing like I did. He's supervising while they're doing all the work. Well, they're young yeah, and I had jobs and bend over and crap, man. Yeah, it's but- hard. It's he's paid his made. he's paid his dues to have those kids around doing his oh yeah slave for labor sure. for sure what are we looking at Simon? brandy is that his last name newman no his middle name oh this is a middle name okay that's his uh channel of you and then uh a uh, mother and i think a father well it's his right. relatives it's just his relatives then say who it is i'm gonna start calling him newman <laughs> his middle name's Newman middle name yeah Randy Newman are you kidding to Paul or Alfred friggin Newman <laughs> Alfred E. Newman <laughs> Randy Newman shifter yeah well, I'm going to jump off, guys, because I got to go tie down some garbage cans, it looks like. She said yeah. we're in for a, a blow. So All right, man. Don't need to lose our garbage cans. Good talking to you. Take sure. care. Y'all All tell right, me. So. Later. All right, man. Later. <laughs> Night, everybody. Good Night. Good night. Oh. And there were two. Yeah, I know. And it's like 13 in the chat, man. It's been it's been a slow night. <laughs> really? Yeah, usually you have a lot of people. It must have been all the pizza talk. They they like trains better. We can switch. It's a little late for that. <laughs> for welding. Like well, the welding is, is over with, but yeah. New man shifter. Here you go. <laughs> Why do you think the numbers were off? Just because of what we're talking about, or just weird? I don't night? know. Well, it, it was slow from the beginning. It was only uh, like 22 at, at the most for like an hour and then uh, and then just That's not a bad start shoot well we're at 13 it's been wow. at 15 for for most of the night yeah it could be all right give away time i'm no, just kidding <laughs> where's my girl is going to land three blocks of wood What was Trina saying? It's about a storm. They get trash cans in or something. Yeah, they they got bad weather coming up, so they gotta you know, get the trash cans in and all the other stuff that's outside the house. New man shifter. Yeah. Hello, Jerry. Randy's middle name is Newman. Is it really? Yeah. Appar- apparently. It's easy for me to remember his last name because my next door neighbor, I had to look at his name because I thought it was a damn relative or Andy's. <laughs> Their last names are, I mean, they're not the same, but they remind me of the same thing. <laughs> There's somebody I know who has the same last name as Randy. And I was like, I wonder if they're related, but I don't think oh, so. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Damn. Somebody who lives here in Atlanta. Well, I knew an outlaw for that last name. So. <laughs> Don't it, must be, it, it must be fairly common. <laughs> but yeah, man. Where is it? There it is. I'm not going to say his name out in in the no, public, I mean, but I mean, I, I found him, but I, I blacked out his uh his last name. No, uh, it's all that noise. Sounds like sloshing. Somebody, we need a hand that check. Damn dog slops on some water like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, you blame it on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave him a treat from going outside, and he'll sit there and he'll slop that water for at least three minutes now. You can hear that, though. 
<laughs> oh, I can hear it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Randy, some, some girl I know has the exact same last name. Sounds like someone getting handy. <laughs> Get them up. <laughs> Come up, yeah. Oh, there goes the wind. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, you guys didn't have any tornadoes or anything, Simon? I saw them somewhere in Texas. It looked like they were storm chasing today. Up north. Yeah, yeah I they, think it was. I think it was north of you guys. Because they go they go north into Oklahoma. Gotcha. Or they come in, or they come in south from Oklahoma. I follow the guys on on YouTube. On YouTube. This yeah, me too. This past weekend they were chasing something, but it was just a bunch of driving. I'll find that chick, Randy. I'll send <laughs> you a screenshot because I'm telling you, <laughs> she might be your long lost relative. Johnny knew two people with the last name, and he made both of them. <laughs> she's she's really rich too, so you might be able to get some money out of her. I have no idea. I'm sure it is, but I don't know. What are you saying, Simon? Is that fire up north, up in North Texas, uh, like a month ago? There was a fire. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I haven't heard anything else about uh, that. I don't know. I um, I don't watch TV anymore, man. So it's like it's hard to keep up with news. Yeah, I when he I, I forgot all about it. He just said so. It's been a while since so I heard anything. Any updates on that? Last I saw was actually Zach had posted something in one of yeah. the chats about. Uh, the hay, the trucks with the hay bales you know, going to Texas. I think he was doing some type of a cook or something. Wasn't yeah, he? he 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 went up to uh, help. Um, I guess the um, the people fight, fighting the fire. Uh, he went up to to uh, help eat them. Man, look at my tree is swinging like crazy, man. Let me see if I can see if you can see that. Hold on. Did he did it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh that's okay. But here, when it's look at the lightning, oh, the lightning, yeah, yeah, I saw lightning just now. But then it starts blowing real hard, and my tree just starts going side to side real hard. Yeah, yeah, you got some lightning out there. Yeah, get my news from from TikTok. Apparently, Mexico is at war of Ecuador. Yeah, no, it's not. And did he did it? Ain't that some shit about him? Some bitch. <laughs> oh, hey, my hope if I if I do that, huh? Where's old leprechaun been lately? I haven't seen him in a while in the chats. He was in the chat yesterday, I think it was. Oh yeah. It's weird. I, I I get notifications from Randy and from uh Sleeper and I think Christy. But the rest of y'all, when y'all when y'all talking in the in the in that group chat, I don't, I don't see none of it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, gotcha. That's why I miss I miss a bunch of uh, the conversations. Uh, yesterday, I had like a bunch of stuff going on. Well, that would be um, some shit, would it, there, Sal? Unless he's bullshitting me. <laughs> Rest in peace, my tree. Yeah. There would be something else called a bunch of people that all of a sudden went blind because of some of them glasses they bought from Amazon. Yeah, well, Amazon's gotten pretty bad. A lot of the stuff, it's almost like eBay. It's like you don't know who the real seller is. And I still use eBay. I don't say anything bad about it. But, you know, it's not Amazon yeah, selling yeah. stuff anymore. It's all these different people who just sell on the marketplace. Man, we might lose that tree. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I had to cut down all the trees that were at risk here because we were worried so much. Yeah, I mean that's a later, point. Randy. Did you save any of that last tree that came down? The second tree. Um. Mm, we saved some of it. Yeah, I've got some maple. I gotta, I gotta take split. the chainsaw too and split. So yeah, we saved oh. some. 
What was the last tree? What we maple was it? Mm, we had two maples taken down, then we had a black walnut that split in half. Um, I still got to chop that up too. Is that good to cook with? Yeah, yeah, black walnut and and the maple, they're, they're both good for cooking. Yeah, I, I know maple, but the the black walnut, I, I wasn't sure it was. Yeah, I've never used a ma maple. I would think maybe a sugar maple before anything else, but the black walnut, I thought that would be a little harsh. Mm, I've never cooked with it before. I'll let y'all know, but I think anything with like a fruit is okay to cook with, or anything that bears fruit. I think that walnut it was um, fur furniture. I would, you know. Yeah, well, I've got some walnut out there, and I really, I'd rather burn hickory, but black walnut yeah. is darker than obviously well, it, the name. Well, well, it's it's just like the the walnuts themselves are black, but the wood isn't. No, the wood's darker than regular walnut. Black walnut this... has darker streak tint. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, regular walnut. Well, I'll let you know if I die or not. <laughs> no, you're not going <laughs> to die. I'm just, I'm just. You might have the shit again for another four days. Mm -mm. No, I think it'll taste good. I've heard people really like black walnut for smoking. Yeah, it might be. I'm not saying you're going to get sick by any means. I'm just thinking that, you know, just the char characteristics of it, would it be like a mesquite? Like, you know, something that's uh, like got a little strong, stronger taste to it. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I don't I don't like the uh the maple. It it burns too quickly compared to oak. I'm gonna use it because I have it, but it's not my preferred wood. But it, but you still gotta wait for it to dry though, right? Uh it fell a long time ago. So okay. it's it I, I got a little uh I bought one of those testers you can buy, a little yeah, digital tester. Know. Yeah, to, to see what the humidity is or whatever it's called, moisture. Moisture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's good. <laughs> well, if you break it up, split it, you know, cut it up into rounds and then split it, it's going to dry a lot faster. Sure. Um, you know, not, you know, within less than six months time. Right. So. Especially if you stack it so that it's getting air uh, through it and not getting wet, you know, every time it rains. But <clears throat> Yeah, I've already been cooking on it for like the last year. I've been testing the moisture. It's been fine. I just kind of split it as I go, but it's it's been about 15% moisture, so it's been good. Now, the black walnut, I have no idea what it is. I haven't even gotten into that yet. I, you know have you cool. noticed any, uh, it, like, thicker uh, creosote on your smoker? With the, with the maple? Uh-huh. No, it just burns a lot faster. It doesn't, <clears throat> it, it doesn't like, oak, I, I usually use oak, and it burns real nice and slow okay. and, and hot. But I the maple, some, uh, I gotta just shovel that shit in there and it just used so much um, more. Some pecan that wasn't completely dry. And th that left a, a good layer of uh, creosote on on the top of the smoker. Hmm. And like stuff just hanging down after after a while. Had to scrape all, all right. that out, clean it out. Yeah, clean the whole smoker out. Pecan is by far my favorite wood to burn with, smoke with. Love do you it. have an do you have an offset? Um, like, do you burn like a real wood fire at all, or you just use it as like a like a flavor wood? Who me? Yeah. Um, I've got. Well, I use it in my kettle. I bought, but I'll use that in the kettle. I normally use that. Uh, what I buy in the bags from a B and B. It's a pretty decent yeah. sized chunk. I'll throw a couple of them in there. But I've got two offsets that I burn splits in. I got you. Even if I burn. Uh, use that smoke daddy. Um, I saw a guy using it and I, I, well, it has, I have the heavy D attachment first off. Mm -hmm. So I can burn splits in it in that uh, attachment. But if I don't want to use the attachment because it burns so fast and if you have to uh, reload it, it's a pain in the butt. You know, you got to take everything, all the, 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 the uh, drip, plate and everything out in order to get back to that where you can add to you know more wood to it look at that big old storm hold on yeah yeah good god golly my, my family 
You get a notification from OnlyFans. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, that's some crazy rain right there. Is that a outside your house right now? Backyard. Yeah, that's that's a pecan tree that's in the middle of the yard. And that's yeah, back, you might have that's a, back door defense. Yeah, it might be have a, having a tornado right now. That's I a, mean, it, it, it looks like it's raining sideways. Big raindrop. Yeah, it looks like it's raining sideways. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the uh, cicada Armageddon that's happening soon? No. Yeah. Do you guys get cicadas in your area? Dude, yeah. Just last year, though? Well, it's, it's going to be happening like in the next month where there's like two different types of species of cicadas are going to emerge at the same time and it's going to be like a million cicadas per acre yeah Is that right? yeah yeah so. we get them right here and and they're loud as shit but i thought that was like every several years and yeah it's every several yeah, there's certain species that come up every several years there's one species that comes up like every 17 years or something but apparently this year it's like both of them coming out at the same year at the same time so it's going to be a lot of them. So maybe we should do a cicada cook. <laughs> Go for it. You first. Fried, fried cicada. Stir fry. Yeah. Dipped in chocolate. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty big and nasty. I don't. I don't think I could eat one of those. Well, they're loud as shit. That's the way I don't like them. Mm-hmm. All right, I think I'm going to call it, man. We have like 10 people watching. It's two hours in already, so. All right, buddy. All, All right, y'all. Have a good night. Deal. Yep. Been Come good. on. Thank you, man. See y'all yep. later. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.